Okay, so this is my experimental 3D printer. About to shake itself crazy. I haven't got the Z axis moving. So interesting thing to note here is that as long as this belt stays under tension, it does not matter that this stick flops around. For an experiment, I replace it uh, 3D printed plastic here with bamboo. Bamboo is actually a lot more rigid for the same weight than 3D printed part. So I think uh, I'll probably, like as an inter intermediary step before I use carbon fiber, I'm gonna make this, this, and this out of bamboo. I'm still figuring out how to best do it here because this bamboo, I can't really count on it uh, being in any particular shape. I just wanted to provide tension. Now with this uh, rod, I figured it out. Like it doesn't, like position of this rod doesn't have much effect on position here, as long as uh, this belt says stays uh, taut and straight. So, but it's not the case for uh, this. If I pull it away here, that impacts position here. So I think I'm gonna probably change how everything connects together here. I have a few ideas I want to try. Right. And yeah, that's basically the date. I'm getting pretty close to being able to print something once I figure this part out and I touch a uh, print here, here. And uh, this is way heavier than it needs to be. Ditto for this, I just, just need a bit better material. Uh, I should get some uh, bamboo sticks tomorrow. Another thing I got is a uh, Kevlar thread. Uh, yeah, Kevlar line it says. Not 100% sure it is Kevlar, but I managed to cut wood with it without it breaking, so I think it probably is actual Kevlar. And um, the idea is to build this arm like uh, like how they used to build uh, like biplanes a long time ago, or like airplanes with a um, bunch of sticks in compression and a bunch of uh, like uh, ropes in tension. Because so that's very lightweight, not most of the dynamic construction for airplanes, but here it's not going to be going out that fast. For 3D printing on 2 meters per second is a lot. So, most important thing is that it has to be lightweight so that the accelerations can be very high. Right. Another thing I need to figure out here is uh, homing. I am thinking that I'm gonna sew a little piece on the back of uh, the belt here and put the switch so that the switch is triggered by the belt because because if I uh, like as I'm homing this thing. Um, uh, it is going to come to the stop on one of the axes first and then it has to be the same stop regardless of the angle of the other the position of the other axis so that's a little tricky I'll figure that out the Z axis is really extremely straightforward it's just a lead screw uh, nothing here no need for those uh, spring loaded nuts because this thing is heavy enough this is a cheap uh, linear rail, 20 millimeters. Very stiff. Ideally, I would want to screw something behind it, but um, it's the stiffest thing in the whole uh, system, so I don't really care much about that. Uh, I checked it with this, um, I checked it with gauge, uh, I push here, it barely flexes. So, I think I'm fine on that. What else? Another thing you can do is replace a bunch of uh, belt with Kevlar line. Only needed to be belt where it goes around the pulley. In principle, I could replace all the belt with Kevlar line just using a winch. Then I won't even have to have this uh, complicated contraption. They could just be motor here, winching the thread. I could have, uh, let's say, spring here. Pushing it away, uh, 
Kevlar push pulling it back in I could even make this whole arm a flexure so yeah so he's um, I'm planning to make uh, bamboo stick arms I think I'm gonna actually use a cut uh, like bamboo but a natural bamboo also works you just uh, just have to size the hole luckily like with 3d printing that's no problem size it exactly to your bamboo stick and it uh, works yeah here, uh, here I didn't uh, size it quite right so had to put a little bit of uh, tape to make stick a little wider but yeah <coughs> yeah and uh, I mean this here replacement idea basically is that um, uh, the intersection point here will be attached to the belt it will not be attached to the stick so that any like, dimensional changes in the bamboo will not matter as long as it is providing enough tension and I will probably uh, install like a spring to maintain consistent tension regardless of any deformation in the bamboo <coughs> yeah I think I'm uh, getting there slowly but surely now I have all three axes um, one big issue here is how do I uh, set up a print here the idea I would want kind of to go straight through the bearings but then I would have to have big uh, bearings so I'm gonna probably have to compromise on and still figuring how to best attach also interesting thing about this design is that um, this arm uh, I can actually minimize the nature basis of this arm by attaching a little arm right here and so I mean 3d printers can have maximum speed uh, determined by uh, your uh, like uh, by your extruder anyway uh, or your nozzle so uh, they what they do a lot is they uh, get to a specific speed over a specific distance right say I want to get to the speed of one meter per second or get the, down to zero from one meter per second over the span of one millimeter that is 50 G's acceleration right if I do that over the span of one centimeter that is um, I have five G's so suppose that I have a little arm here that gives it, uh, so to say, vigor room, pun intended, of uh, a few centimeters. So suppose I want to um, accelerate to one meter per second right here. I accelerate to over one millimeter. That will be accelerate so those parts uh, to one meter per second. Uh, 50 Gs uh, is the mass of those parts multiplied by 50 Gs, how much force I get, right? But if the arm is accelerating over the span of one centimeter or two centimeters, so over the span of one centimeter, so it will only have five g's acceleration. So uh, the force from the arm would be ten times less than it would be without a little arm put here. So I think I might try that, and of course there might not be any need uh, once I uh, lighten up this arm by like replacing it with some kind of like um, kind of like uh, how builds big uh, like cranes and so on built and it's just um, like um, I don't know the English word for it but uh, like truss structure yes uh, so rod here rod here uh, stretch curler line here stretch curler line here I think that uh, could work and um, I'm probably going to have our stick sticking out because one thing about it is that I'm subject to uh, twist them. Well, first let me explain why do I have the arm in the first place? Why not just have this and that? Well, this is not uh, stable in the vertical direction. This by itself will just fly up or fall down, right? And um, the only way around that is to have some kind of vertical uh, stiffener. Another thing I could do is replace this whole arm with a you know, flat plane with uh, like air bearing on it, uh, change this a bit so it pushes upwards and uh, 
could have this gliding on an air bearings that could be actually really good but it is uh, a little bit too advanced at this stage and I don't think I want to work on that yet so yeah <coughs> here's uh, uh, <sighs> the bearing from my earlier video I have it tight and it's really tight it harder to turn but it's uh, pretty stiff I think I'm gonna experiment with that to replace the power bearings not so much that the ball bearing cost money they're pretty cheap with that uh, I mean they're tiny and uh, so where the seat in the 3D print is a small place uh, not very stiff like this part's not very stiff this part's not very stiff this likewise I would rather prefer to have, to use this uh, entire length provide stiffness and likewise here plus of course it's um, like a last more range of motion uh, because uh, like um, turns all the way down I can turn 360 coming to the other side without crashing into itself so yeah anyway <coughs> so yeah and I think that's about it uh, uh, hopefully uh, next weekend I'll have something, uh, maybe on this weekend i have something a bit more uh, advanced than that. I want to figure out what am I doing with the tip. I want to remake the arm um, with the current core. And I think uh, maybe I'll put an extruder on it and print something like in a couple of weeks. Hopefully.